So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and absolutely remarkable what he has accomplished since making his UFC debut in 2013. Still the only simultaneous two-division UFC champion the promotion has ever seen. That left hand, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you don't want to get hit with the left hand of Conor McGregor. He is precise, a creative striker who has certainly put Dublin, Ireland, and SBG, Ireland, on the MMA map. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. McGregor is 29, Iaquinta is 30. McGregor will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from Madison Square Garden in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. There you go, first one, you ready? Are you ready? Well, this building has hosted some of the biggest fights in boxing history, and now MMA making its presence felt. We are underway and ready for live action here at Madison Square Garden in the heart of New York City. Well, how about these Irish fans and their support of the superstar Conor McGregor? Better get in your seats early because McGregor is a notorious fast starter. Going to try to control the... Oh! Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Oh, he is just teeing off here. Oh. Oh, straight right. Oh. Oh, how good is that jab? Snaps it off yet again here. Nice jab. Combination landed by McGregor. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground, staying busy. Iaquinta's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. He pummels under, and now he's got double underhooks. He really wants to scoot his body a little bit more to the side to try to drop his weight down a little bit. Nice combination there by McGregor. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Trademark inside leg kick there by Raging Ally Aquint. All right, so some fatigue striking, I guess you would call it here. He is landing, but just not inflicting much damage because his stamina is on low. Well, he moved right into that straight punch, Joe. Left the body. Oh! Oh! Wow. Outstanding timing and accuracy for a knockout victory. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Let's take a look at that again. Here it is one more time. Crank right on the jaw. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. 
Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! Well, doubt this man at your own peril. The notorious Conor McGregor gets his hand raised yet again. You see the celebration is on with this chief corner, John Kavanaugh. A massive, massive moment in a career that has had so many of them for the notorious Conor McGregor. Going to be interesting to see how he moves forward after another big win here tonight. Let me talk to you for just...